All right, so there's been another change of plans. It's not going to happen this turn, but um, it's certainly uh, the re the reshifting of um, the attack. I have moved some of the troops over here, and it's going to solve so many logistical issues for me, or well, command and control issues, I guess, or whatever. So I'm still going to keep Second Corps here, but they're just going to be uh, pr protecting this spot, uh, these spots over here. That's it. Then I'm pro. Um, I'm going to keep first core uh, t towards here, the blue guys here, so that'll be wonderful. But I'm no longer going to attack this spot. I did want to, but you're going to see why I'm not going to. I just started going, wait a minute, this is going to require an, an unbelievable amount of strength points um, and supply. So I decided I'm going to go with this. I've already crossed the river, 4th Army. At first I was not a huge fan of... Um, I don't like at this moment, remember I'm still learning all these things and I'm getting off on that type of stuff. I don't want to coordinate my uh, the armies uh, for an attack here. I'd rather have like two cores from w within an army attack. attack. But any, anyways, the fourth army here, this guy here is under direct uh, fourth army control. This guy's um, under first core. And I've had a major problem is, is that I've been trying to reach uh, to shift troops um, away from here towards here to mount an attack towards there. <coughs> Excuse me, and trying to move a lot of guys over here to, to take up the spot and on the flip and the same time not reveal what I'm doing, uh, you know, so the Russians clue in, okay, they're mounting an attack here. I already have a ton of guys here, so they already know I've already got a, a kind of attack uh, stuff here. So what I'm doing, I've still moved, I've only moved the way I've moved them anyways, I can still move them back the same movement points because in order for the troops that I moved out of the threat zones here, um, I'm not allowed to use column movement, rail movement, and all that other stuff. So it's the, so in other words, to go in reverse on another turn, I'll just be bringing them back, if that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the attack. So I'm going to have a combined attack uh, probably next turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it'll be 1st Army Direct from here, attacking from here, and 4th Army Direct attacking from here to there. And um, the reason being is it's only minus 2 to the die roll. So these guys are, uh, because I've wrapped around the river, I don't. they will not get the river bonus. And it's woods here um, across this hex side. So they can defend across that, so that's minus 2 to the die roll. If I attacked here and mounted up all my people across, no matter which way I go, even... I'll always, they'll always get the river bonus at this moment. And due to the fact that there's woods there, even if I try to bring all kinds of troops around to this side, they can still use this woods bit to defend across. That's minus two to the die roll for woods. And because everybody's attacking across the river, uh, it's an additional minus two. So I'd have minus four to the die roll. Sorry, not going to, not going to happen. So logistically in a weird way it's it's not where I just didn't see it I guess but I haven't caused a major meltdown of movement yet but I'm just basically I guess uh, Brayevich over here saying hey wait a minute or maybe these guys uh, the army commander said you know maybe some uh, the first corps commander here said you know this is a nightmare uh, you're, you're gonna ask us to do a heck of a lot maybe there has been a lot of back talk I don't uh, you know, back chat or whatever, saying, hey man, um, there's probably a better way around this. Um, that's the way I'm going. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, very, I'm quite happy. Uh, this is why I really like to slow down as much as possible and just take my sweet ass time. All right, hope you're having a great time.